since Mr. Fix the Dryer, I've been a laundry lunatic. But I just wanted to mention something that I think we don't do enough of, and that's cleaning our detergent caddies that go into the washing machine. This is like my second time ever cleaning it. And we, of course, we've had it for years, but if you're like me, and I think most people, you don't clean these out regularly. Now I can go start this load and make Mr's for breakfast. Also, these are really cute to use for a number of things. I like the, this has a pour spot, spout. And these are your laundry cups that come on your detergent. They can be used for a multitude of things. Ingredients as you put things together for a meal. He likes corned beef hash, but in the name of better choices, I get him roast beef hash. For those of you who didn't know that was a thing, it's a thing. This is how much olive oil I use in my, in my Batman pan. Not even kidding. So, I have my grapeseed oil in a spritz bottle. So I need a little more water. A little water here. Yeah, because it needs to be waterier. Because it will thicken as you let it stand. Again, we learned the last time, right, how important that three minutes of stand time is. Now I'm going to go smoke some weed. <coughs> Mister is out there so handsome out there. Superfood seasoning in there. <clears throat> Just because I put that shit on everything. And let's cut us some green onions up, shall we? Go it in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell him he has a good 10 minutes. I, I got caught up daydreaming in that thing. I went in, I went out there and he's like, you can sit on it because I wanted to sit on the edge because I have I haven't making it, which is good, it's easier on him. But as I thought more on it, I was thinking about, you know, dragging out something un, as unsightly as, not that it matters, as a paint bucket to sit on as I work in that raised bed that he had. And he was gonna make it, y'all know how he takes care of me, so he was gonna make it tall like the, uh, ones on the deck at at waist level so I don't have to bend down oh. I love it so much <laughs> I know I deserve it but it'd be hard to believe sometimes not because I'm not a good person, but because he's so amazing. Uh, man up, girl. I'm just so grateful. So grateful. Oh. I think he knew I was going to get these pancakes right today. Excuse me. But I think he knew I was going to get these pancakes right today. He specifically requested pancakes. Never happened in two decades of marriage. I know he better come on here though. Wait till y'all see our new raised bed. It's all of ours. <laughs> Cause y'all be watching me. And who else can I show it off to? Ain't nobody coming to my house. I got one sister I can show it off to. But I be wanting to hear her, what's going on in her life though. I went out there like a nagging wife and I just put my hands on my hips like that. He did like this. <laughs> 
late, bro. Got two pieces. I'm gonna fold that one down. Cut it as three stalks. Man, I had some good beginner's luck. Gardening. Vegetable gardening. I remember when my green onion stalks were so thick around that one could serve as for dinner. You don't want one of pancakes and now you don't want to be in here when it's all fresh and hot. Like, I do want to be in here. Huh? I do want to be in here. Okay. <laughs> all right, you say so. Uh-huh, Bonnie Brook? 